All DJI drones have a dedicated return to home button on the controller. And today, I'm gonna to tell you why. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about the three ways to initiate a return to home with the DJI Enterprise Series drones. One of the first things you need to do is look around your surroundings while you'll be launching the drone. You wanna make sure that the drone is set to rise above any of the obstacles that might be in your area. You're looking at the power lines, you're looking at the trees, the buildings, and just make sure they're clearing them before the drone will initiate its return to home. The first way is programmed into the controller. It's when your battery reaches a certain level of percentage. So we'll decide if the battery reaches a number like 30% that we wanna be notified, and then the drone will have an alarm system that goes off, and then it'll initiate a return to home. That's important because you don't wanna be far away if the drone is low on battery. And you can set it for 20% or 30%, that's up to you. The second way we're gonna do this is when the pilot himself will initiate the return to home. Public safety might be flying in a wildfire where the drone gets into smoke or in an area where you've lost visual of where your drone is. At that point in time, go ahead and press the return home button, hold it for three seconds and let go. And I noticed the drone itself has turned to my direction. It's coming back to me. And then once the drone reaches its home point, it'll land in the very spot it took off. The third and final way that the drone will return home is when the drone has lost connection to the controller. This happens for lots of reasons. Maybe you're too far away. Maybe there's some magnetic interference. For whatever reason, if you lose contact of the drone with the controller, the drone's gonna initiate on its own that return to home and actually fly to the altitude, again, pre-programmed in the controller and come back to its home point. So this is how we're gonna set the altitude in the controller. The first thing we go to the upper right hand corner and where we see those three dots, that's our settings. And then the very top icon is the drone. We'll go ahead and press that drone and then scroll down and then it says return to home altitude, RTH. So right now we got it preset at 249 feet. I can change it to 300 feet by simply typing it in and hitting enter. Then once the drone is actually in line of sight where the pilot can actually see the drone, it's very important that you take control of it at that point in time. And now I've taken full control of the drone and I can land it safely myself, mitigating any other risk that might be involved by having the drone land on its own. This is Derek Ward with DSLR Pros. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.